part of making bath bombs of course is wrapping them up so here is my little machine here I've got as nice and close so that you can see what I'm doing and the one I use I think I actually bought this from a company called like equipped um, you know um, shrink wrap machines I think that's what it was called I can't quite remember but you can also if you're in Australia you can get this from Officeworks this machine it's roughly about $590 just for the machine and then you need to buy the reel so this massive reel that you can see here I bought this from Heirloom Australia it's uh, about $480 I think but honestly I've had it for almost two years so there is a lot, a lot, a lot of shrink wrap on it. You can get biodegradable ones and you can also get um, ones like this. This is not biodegradable. When I bought it, they actually didn't have any and I couldn't get it. So that's why I've got this one. But once this is done, we will go to biodegradable, of course. So now let me show you what we're going to do. So basically this reel, it comes like this and then let me show you inside. It's double sided so you can put your hand inside and it's sealed at this end but open at this end so you slide your bath bombs in. So today we are going to be wrapping these love heart ones. So I'll show you what I'm going to do. We're literally just going to slide them in to the machine and then we're just going to slide them in the plastic I should say so hopefully you can see and then there's this little line now what actually happens is when this presses down on the line it heat seals it together and that's um, as good as it gets so we would just literally push this down um, it will tell me when it's ready or if it's not it you only hold it down like maybe a second and you can see it's cut that bit off so now we just sort of cut these bits in half if you have a bigger bath bomb, you might not need to do this, but these ones are small. So we're going to um, just wrap them like that. And then I will actually get the heat gun and heat over the top. Now, when I started doing this, I'll tell you the one thing that I found really hard was actually sealing them because I would break them. Um, when I sealed them, I would break all the plastic. I would leave holes in the side of the plastic. And um, all that is... That just has to do with, you know, making sure you seal them right, holding the um, arm down for the right amount of time and also um, just not applying too much heat because when you apply too much heat with the heat gun, um, it actually just bursts the sides because obviously it just burns it. Um, so, yeah, you do have to be careful and it does take a while. And for lots of people that have been saying to me they feel really overwhelmed um, with soap making, bath bomb making and so on, I will tell you it took me a really long time, everybody, to get to this stage. So I honestly don't think wholesale is something you should do at the start. I think you need to get practice. You need to go and do what most people do, which would be, um, you know, doing markets, getting some clients and so on. Because... Even though you think you want the money and you want to do that side, it gets to be really, really stressful um, because then you just don't know enough. So, you know, and I've just learned so much as I've gone along. Um, I've taught myself everything. I have not done a course. Um, honestly, I pretty much got my, taught myself everything on YouTube, as silly as that sounds. But, um, yeah, that's basically how I've taught myself. So, like I said, I hope that my videos do help they give you some inspiration some tips some tricks and um, you know just a little bit of guidance as well but you can also join our Facebook group go over there it's totally free um, anyone can join that group as well I do have quite um, 150 people or so on there already so come over there and chat with us so now we're going to do the heat seal so to make it easy so you can see I've just set it on here so there is our little bath bomb and what you want to do is you want to heat seal around the, um, you know, the edges, not the top. If you do the top first, it will just get super tight there and crack a hole. So let's just turn it on low. So this is just on low and you can see I'm not holding it super close. Turn it around as you're going. Obviously, I would do lots of these, but this is just to show everybody. And once you've got all the sides, then, of course, we're going to go on the top um, to make it all seal beautiful. It does get hot. Be careful of your hands. Um, and there, that's it. It's all done and looking gorgeous. Now, when I actually do mine, I actually put two of them in the same box. So I'll show you that when we got over to the other side. But now we've done all the sealing. Look how gorgeous they are. 
and like I said we're going to now box them up and um, do this part. Here are all of the bath bombs. They are shrink wrapped and they are ready for us to package them up. So I thought let's get going and I'll show you exactly how I actually do these. So there's some round ones here, donuts, of course my hearts which I put two in one box. So let's get going. Now let's package these beautiful products up. So I'll show you what I actually use. These ones are the ones that I actually use for my round bath bombs. They fit them perfectly. Um, there's a couple different ones you can use. Also Aroma do ones um, that I think are called Dubai um, candle boxes or Doobie I think. I can't remember how they pronounce it but um, you can use those as well. But these ones are just a little bit wider and shorter so they definitely suit it better. So obviously we've got to put the boxes together and these ones work out to be about 50 cents or something a box. So it's cheaper. The ones from Aroma I think are about a dollar, maybe a box. But you know, you need to buy them in bulk. Um, and then of course I'm going to put the insert in. <clears throat> if you're using the ones from Aroma, you can't put the insert in because the bath bomb won't fit. <clears throat> so now what I do is just put a little piece uh, of foam inside. And basically all it is, is I actually want my bath bombs literally to be wrapped in that and it just gives it a little bit more protection. So literally that's all I'm going to do. Put it in and I'll show you. It's really snug. So you can see how snug and tight it is. And then for me, well, let's just obviously fold them over. We'll close the box up. And these ones are uh, my magnesium ones. And I'm sorry if my voice is still croaky, but as many of you know, it's been several weeks now with not very much of a good voice which has been really horrible. <clears throat> so now we've got the box and I actually make my own labels. So these ones are all done. Uh, I make all of my labels um, using Canva. I do have the pro account. <clears throat> so to do everything I've done, you do need the pro account. And then what I actually do is pop it through the Cricut machine, which gives me the precise size. And then of course, I'm just going to label over the top. So literally this is all that's gonna happen. What I do is do this and then we'll seal it. So I'll show you, this is a sticky label. I also get these plain white labels from Stanley Packaging. It's like $15 for 100 A4 sheets, so it's really cheap. Um, I, I actually think it's an absolute bargain. Um, like really good price. And then you can see here, this is where they'd open it. So I actually put this over the top. It stops people tampering with the box. And you know, when you buy this from the stores, um, you know that I supply these to nobody has touched the bath bomb it's sealed inside here and of course it's also sealed in the box um, and then of course you've got all your ingredients warnings and things that you need to legally have on the bottom and then on the top obviously it says it's a bath bomb what it is and of course the grams or weights um, and do check your country because all countries are different on what you actually have to be labeled uh what they have how they have to be labeled sorry but in australia we do need to say what it is um because even though it's in a, a box and you might you know i have pictures of bath bombs and whatever on it people still need to be told it is a bath bomb so now that one is ready most of these um magnesium ones have already been sold i had to make some more because i had so many orders of these magnesium ones and i thought Look, let's just get going. I really um, have to organize those. So now I won't um, keep you while I do all of those ones, but let's do the next one so that you can see how I actually do these hearts. So this is a different box. This is a big box. The, all the boxes that I'm using um, are from Aussie Candles. They're definitely the cheapest for boxes. This one works out to be about 55, 60 cents, I think a box. And then of course you can see I've already got one heart in here and I've got this foam and the reason I've got it, it protects it. So I literally, let me open this, I'm going to pop the foam like that and then I'm going to pop another one on top. And it's just so that the foam, um, that one's a little bit big, I think that one. So it's just so that the foam actually protects the bath bomb inside it. Then once again, we're going to seal this up. So it's sealed up. And then we're going to put a label on this one. 
all of these um, as I said before I do design them all on Canva I often get people asking where I get my paper from or you know because they think that I buy the printed paper but I don't I actually design them all um, and all you need to do is just you know go into Canva to elements and just type in um, you know patterns or you know sweetheart pattern or whatever you want to make um, that's what you actually need to do so now we've got this once again and you can see everything on here I'll show you this a little bit clearly in a minute and I'm just going to pop that over the top here and we're going to just go over the top and this will seal it once again and then I just push that down to the bottom and this is what it looks like doesn't it look so sweet and then of course on the back all the warnings and everything else that need to be on there are on the back but as I said please check your country because Australia is different to other countries we don't sell to the UK or the EU at all and the reason is because um, they need assessments there and we don't in Australia Australia is very similar to the US in the way that we have to package and everything else I think we're just a tiny bit stricter than the US um, but are very very similar so like you said um, like I've shown you we've done these ones don't they look adorable and now I'll just show you one of these other bigger ones as well so once again I've got this box this is the same size box as this one which is a 225 gram tin box from Aussie candles for anyone that wants to know the actual size and these fit these ones in it really beautiful they also fit a, a bath bomb um, donut now my donuts are the large donuts they're not small they're 180 grams so they are quite big if you're using a smaller one just go down one size in the tins because um, they have many many sizes and I actually use their tins also to put like my body butters in and things like that so we've got this in here once again we've got the foam so I'm just going to sit it inside and then that's what it's going to look like we'll close the foam up so when someone opens it it's going to literally look like that close it up again we will get the new labels in and I know look lots of people say to me oh my goodness that is so time consuming and you're 100% right it is really time consuming but you know what um, I appeal is by appeal uh, so that's my label for this one that I've designed and the thing is you know if you have something that doesn't look beautiful on the shelf like if I could just put that on the shelf well that is not as appealing to somebody to pick that up compared to that um, you know people do like things in boxes they do like things to be secured um, and you know I really like that myself I mean everyone to their own whatever they like but um, that's what I like I will actually be designing some boxes for my um, uh, what are they my lip balms so soon my lip balms will come in boxes but that's going to be a little bit of time so once again I'm just going to like I said go over the top um, just to put my label in here and uh, and you know honestly everybody I've spent a lot of time making sure this size is exact so to go from the bottom to the top it is 20.8 centimeters in depth um, and I think it's roughly about 6.3 across uh, but you know and if you're going on Canva you need to do a customized size to make this because there's no particular label that's this size and it just wraps around but I mean maybe you might just want one to go across the front and the back you don't need to wrap it like mine but as I said I appeal is by appeal and before I started doing all of this look this let's be honest here um, I was struggling to sell things and you know what it is it's just over time you get really good at packaging you know and um, you know it's taken me a long time to get to this stage where I am to be able to package things really well and to understand what people want um, and what the market wants and um, and that is really important everyone so don't look down on yourself if you're thinking I'm not selling anything why not why can't I do this um, you can do it it's just it takes a lot of practice and a lot of um, know-how before you really get good at these things so that's something that I you know really honestly do say to everyone um, please don't you know be hard on yourself if you're not selling or things aren't working because as I said it, it's taken me years to get to the stage where now I do get you know quite a bit of orders every week um, 
some weeks I sell a thousand dollars some weeks a hundred dollars so um, you know if I'm going to be honest at the moment I would say um, I probably I'm trying to think of you know like because I want to tell you the exact amount that I actually probably earn online but that you know it always varies but for, and I'm only talking my own site this is not um, the conference or anything it's just for Nelson Sofri I probably sell I would say on average about five hundred dollars a week you know five to six hundred maybe um, so yeah so and then of course um, I do have YouTube and then of course I have patreon and things like that and that obviously uh, makes me money so yeah so anyway hopefully this video has been super helpful I am going to get and wrap up these I have about 200 to wrap up um, uh, but yeah so hopefully this has given you some insight you don't have to do this but if you just want to do something a little different or you can't afford to get boxes made putting a label like this on it is a great idea and a great way to still be able to have that beautiful product but without um, the cost of, you know, getting them made. And the thing was, I actually looked at getting 5,000 boxes made and it was going to cost nearly $2 a box. Now, $2 a box, if you're selling wholesale, so say my bath bomb on my site's like $9, wholesale, they're paying half of that. So that's four fifty. dollars And if the box costs $2, it means I'm making like 50 cents. So I, it's not affordable for me to get boxes printed like that. Um, so that's something you've got to think about too when you're getting boxes. It means you need to put your price up um, and sometimes people are not going to be happy with that. So yeah, it's a bit of um, a bit of a tricky one, isn't it? Anyway, thanks for watching everybody and I will see you um, next time, of course, on my videos. And of course, you know, I appreciate you all watching. So there you go. We've made them gorgeous and we'll see you next time. Bye everyone.